I've only been out once. Yeah, I've only been out once in the past. They come like every year. And I go to Minneapolis now because that's where my mom is. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of like it there. Yes, Minnesota nice. That is a real thing. You found out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this show is many different artists. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> The occupation of tribes. Very nice. That's something. Yeah, it was a windy day. No. No, no, no. It was a pretty peaceful shot. And there's a lot of color um, on the street. Yeah, yeah. And it was sunny, so like the light was beaming through certain buildings and... It was, I was glad it wasn't a cloudy day. Yeah. I'm sure that would have been fine too, but. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> yes. No, it's a really good idea. And then they're like, okay, that's exactly where it is. <laughs> what do you mean, my boyfriend? He is going to start working at the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school probably this week, actually. We've known each other for almost five years. It'll be five years in September. He doesn't teach it yet. He probably will eventually. Right now, he's still learning. Oh, he's trying to learn it. Yeah. Uh. We've both done it for a little over a year. He's done a little over a year and a little under a year. Yeah. 
So what does he do professionally aside from that? He works at John Fluvog. He's a musician. He went to Berkeley for music, for bass. Uh, is he playing at all? He does a little bit with this guy, Joe Marson, who's a singer-songwriter, and, um, but he's kind of mostly doing the jiu-jitsu thing. He is pretty good, I think. He is good. He's got a really natural bass, both upright and electric bass. He does, yeah. He was in a band for a few years, and he wrote pretty much all the music for all the different oh, parts. <laughs> so he, he is talented that way. Yeah, he he shies away from the spotlight, though. That's the only yeah. thing. Is he from up there in Boston? He's from San Francisco originally. You shoot, well, you shoot, shoot my bookcase. You got it. Because I'm at the super rich woman. And that's in that other room, yeah? Yeah, So what does mom do in Minneapolis? She teaches Pilates as well, like huh? me. She teaches Pilates as well, like that's, I do. That's a funny town. And <laughs> yeah. Years ago, I just leave American came here for the summer, and he would come over here every day and see me, strum his guitar, and tell me stories about being Native American. <laughs> and he's from Minneapolis. Oh and he's yeah. He invited me out there. Okay. I can see a damn lick. So I was writing plays at the time. So I had a couple of, I took a couple of people, you know, from New York here, we sang my plays. And we went out there to performance. We got there about seven or eight or nine o'clock, I can't remember what time we got there. They put us in some little hotel, uh, hmm. uh, near the airport. I, I can't remember what the hotel was. I mean, it's still cheap. 